What's up guys? Welcome back to Scum. Now I did a little bit of work off camera here. I did go and get us some more scraps so we have our flag now. And we got an airdrop while I was out doing that. Actually, I went and I went to the traders. That that was the big thing I did. I went to the traders, dumped a bunch of stuff. Um but anyway, while I was at the traders, we got an airdrop that had in it something. I don't remember which thing it went into, but we got us a chainsaw. Anyway, from the traders, uh, I went ahead and, and decked out some of this stuff. So we got us a suppressor and a scope and a couple of magazines for the carbon hunter. And I got us a couple of magazines for the Hunter 85. Where did the chainsaw go? Oh, is it in with car parts? Yeah, okay, there it is. And we also had a uh, gas can in the fuel, or, or not the fuel drop, in the airdrop. So anyway, so I guess I should check that for fuel. How are you on fuel? Do you have any? Oh, you do. You're full. Sweet. Alrighty. Well, in that case... I think we need to start working on this base. Because we've claimed this spot. We need to start working on this. Yeah, we need to finish that chest over there just to have more storage. But we need an actual base base. So what I'm a thinking, I would like a big base out here. Because the last one, the, a problem I had with the last one, it was it was just too small. You know, and that one was a, a test run to just kind of get a basic understanding of the, the base building aspects. So, I'm thinking we're going to go probably from about this bush here. And basically everything around here that you can see that is not bush. Well, it's not going to be that big, at least not the, the house portion. But... Um, I would really like to have a large area. And so we're going to build a decent sized house. So I guess before we start playing with the chainsaw, I need to put down some blueprints. That's the wrong thing. This one. This one. This one. There we go. What do we need for you? Okay, good. Logs, rope, sticks. Gotcha. Easy peasy. Now. You guys said that we need to raise it up above the weeds and such. So maybe we'll have it about ye not not that high. About yay high. What I what I want to make sure of is that we get it high enough that regardless of where we go through here, that it's going to be above things. So I'm thinking let's start on the high ground. Maybe start up uh, here. Here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because I don't want to build like into the bush there. Yeah, that works. That'll do. I'd like to build like an actual cabin cabin, have a nice like covered porch on it, a decent sized cabin. You know, so I guess we need to build this first one and then we can start locking stuff onto that. Because otherwise I'm just building them. They don't, they don't lock together as is. Correct? Correct. Okay. And that's unfortunate. I, I really want them to lock together. Because otherwise they'll be slightly uneven and it'll bug the crap out of me. So, let's go get us some trees.
I do miss the wheelbarrow from the other place, but that's all right. Now, this is a small tree. Is this one going to give us logs? I'm not sure if these small ones are going to give us, like, lumber logs. I guess we'll find out. I guess I need to turn the chainsaw on. Try again. There we go. Hey, it does give us more logs. Hey, we get six out of that. Damn, that went a lot faster. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and cut down several. Ooh, man, that does go a lot faster than the axe. Holy freaking crap. Okay. Well, let's get us these three here anyway. I don't remember how many we need for everything. But. Let's take you and you. I guess I could make an improvised wheelbarrow. That, that could work. Couldn't it? Okay, so we need two logs for each of these. Two uses of rope, that's easy. And sticks. Well, hey. Sticks. Give me sticks. Stick. Give stick, please. Thank you. Give me those, and then cut this into small sticks. And then I'm pretty sure we still have a decent chunk of rope or binding in here. Uh, we'll use this for now. This one? Yeah, there's some more rope. Is that it? Is that all we have for rope? Well, that's unfortunate. That's fine, though. We'll make more. Yay! Alrighty. Okay, now we can start putting more stuff down. Yes. Unable to not touching ground. What? There we go. Now, can I do another one? In here. Will this lock? No, of course not. Why would it? That would only be convenient. Alrighty then. Well, we got this stuff. And this. We just need logs. And fortunately, we can carry two logs at a time, so that's handy. And sorry if base building stuff is boring to some of you guys. A lot of you seem to like it, which is cool. But uh, that's what these next couple episodes, anyway, are going to be about. They're going to be focusing on building the base. So if watching base building is not your thing, I guess probably skip these videos. 
or you know at least skip this one I don't know what the next one is going to be necessarily but uh, probably at least skip this one place stop sprinting come on lock to the thing why are you not locking to the thing hey the hell why, why no lock Oh, it was going to lock to that one. Come on. Come on. That, why? Why would you? Mm -hmm. You rat bastard. What the hell? It'll do it for half a second. There. Place. This one. Why does this one not lock? Will it lock from this side? No, what? Why will it not lock over here? <sighs> that bugs me. Well, that's going to be frustrating if it's not going to lock any further than that. But whatever, we'll go ahead and do these and then we got us a bundle of sticks here let's go ahead and grab or well I guess this is a tree branch but whatever it becomes a bundle of sticks sort of mine now, does carrying heavy stuff like this, does that improve your strength stat? Because that would be nice if I could beef up my character by having him carry logs and whatnot. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. You. Oh, I don't have anything with which to chop. And I don't want to use the chainsaw to cut up tree branches. Okay. Uh, that's a sledgehammer. There we go. Axe. You know what? Realistically, we don't need the bow at the moment. That's unfortunate because the bow can't fit in the freaking truck right now. <laughs> of course not. Crap. Which one was the chainsaws in? It was in car parts. Okay, Bo, you can fit in there. Alrighty. Then that way... You can be over here. Stop sprinting. I know, I'm sure I could use the chainsaw for this, but it's one of those things I don't want to fire up the chainsaw just to cut some sticks. Are these all longs? Ooh, holy crap, they are. <laughs> oh, that's going to get us a lot of sticks. The problem is I put them in the way. I think, anyway. I'm, I'm guessing I can't put more stuff on top of them right now. I don't know. Maybe we can. See, that's the thing. I don't want to fill with long wooden sticks. I want to fill with small. Because for these foundations, it doesn't matter. It just requires sticks. Which means small sticks are better. Because you get several small sticks out of one long stick. Okay, we still have three long sticks. Can I just pick those up? <sighs> Why does it prioritize the long sticks? Damn it. Put the long sticks over here then.
There. Now will you prioritize the small sticks? Small stick. Small stick. You still need logs. Okay. And yes, we will upgrade these foundations from Twig. I just want to try and get every... I want to get the layout in place. There we go. Now you're going to do it. You had it there. That one. Thank you. And then I can't do one here yet. But I can do one over here. No, not there. There. You probably can't reach the small sticks, can you? No. Drat. Small sticks. No! What the? Why are there long ones? I was going to say, there's a ton of small ones right here. Another long one. Another long one. Okay, put the long ones over here. With the other long ones. Where did I put the other long ones? Other long ones? Whatever, put the long ones. Okay, they're here. Okay, put these over here. Because I don't want you yet. Can I do a, lo a bundle of long sticks? Is that a thing that can be done? Yes, bundle of wooden sticks. Beautiful, do that. Yay, okay, and then these two will just go ahead and break into small sticks. Oh, and then there's still a crap ton of small sticks just on the ground over here. We all small sticks. We're all small sticks. Beautiful. You're not the one I need. This one. Okay. Now, that's going to give us a 3x3 three three currently. I don't know how big we want it to be. I just know that I want it to be a lot bigger than the previous one. You know, if we could have us a... Like I said, if it could be from there to... You know, almost over to that bush. And then we could do multiple rooms inside, maybe? I don't know. I know we don't need a ginormous one, but I want it. You know... I just, I want it. I wish there was a faster way to, like, quick drop things from your inventory. I know you can click here and then do drop. But I, I wish that there was just a, a keybind to quick drop. And maybe there is. I, I don't know. You guys might know more about that than I do. But if there is a keybind for that, let me know, and I will see about mapping that to the controller. Because that would make things a lot easier. <clears throat> These all need logs, right? Yeah, okay. No, don't do that. 
Pick up the log. Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Did you put the axe down? No. Okay. I thought I heard the axe hit the ground. Hmm. See, I, I'm glad that I'm getting more into the base building aspect of Scum. It's relaxing. You know? Yeah, I, I really enjoy... Yeah, sure, it's free sticks. I do enjoy getting out and, you know, doing the more exciting videos. But it's also nice to just do something relaxing and... You know, where you're probably not going to die. Be interesting, though, if the trees could potentially fall on you when you cut them. I think it was the forest that that could happen. Speaking of the forest, uh, I would love to play Sons of the Forest. I played the first one a little bit. Just solo. I would love to try the, the second one, Sons of the Forest. I've seen people play it, and that definitely seems like a game that's better with multiple people. A game like Scum... Eh... I don't know. Some aspects of it would be a lot more fun with multiple people. Some aspects are just fine with a single person you know let's see let's go ahead and at least finish this out here and then we'll know that no 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 there okay Okay, if we're going to be doing much base building, I do think we need an improvised wheelbarrow. Because <laughs> this is going to take forever if I have to haul two logs at a time. Oh, there's another one under there. Did we get seven from this one? Grat, I can't pick that one up. Well. Now, maybe I should have built this a little bit closer to back there, but I want to be able to expand it this way. Okay, so we have one log here. Yeah. One log. Get in the backpack. Any other logs? No, just sticks. Drat. You're not going to give me timber logs. You will. <sighs> Try again. Yeah, I know, just like in real life, it's a bitch trying to pull start a chainsaw if it doesn't want to cooperate. I know. Okay, there's one tree. Let's let's get multiple trees while we're here. grab okay we got two more here let's grab this one as well and this one
Okay. Yeah, I know you're you're tired from having to do the chainsaw. Trust me, I get it. I've had to cut a lot of wood in my time. Oh, I already have one in, in my backpack, don't I? Okay. Well, let's do this. I guess I could. Well, no, because we don't have room in the truck. I guess I could take stuff out of the truck. Because we're here. We should be able to take chests and whatnot out. And they shouldn't go anywhere because we're still close by. Anyways. Beautiful. How is this going to look? Actually, go ahead and fill this in. How are you going to look? Hmm, it needs to be much bigger. Yeah. This is not bad lengthwise, but it definitely needs to be at least one more out that direction. Just for starters. Hmm. Because then I do still want to do maybe like another row out here to do a covered porch. Actually, honestly, a covered porch all the way around would be really nice. Covered porch all the way around. Maybe a second story. I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that part. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need more. Don't. Do the locking noise when you're not locking into anything, you pile of crap. Lock. Come on. Do it. There we go. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. And sure, we'll go another one off this side. No, not that side. At least not yet. That You were so close. Why? <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> and I know you guys said that there was a key bind for doing this to where I don't have to keep going back in. But I forgot what it is. <laughs> So I, I will try and do that for, for mm, lock into the thing for next time. Come on. Come on. Do it. Thank you. Right there. But I mean, this isn't too bad if it's just right here like so. Okie dokie. Oh, we don't have the sticks over here. Poo. Oh, you're not close enough to the sticks. How are you not close enough to this? You are. Okay, you have everything but logs. How are you not close enough to the sticks? Drat. I don't remember how many we need for over there, but that's okay. Just take them all. We got a four. Okay. Beautiful. And I, I think we need to keep building on this way. Now, let me know what you guys think as well as far as if we should have a perimeter wall. Because if we do a perimeter wall, I would like to pretty much do it these... Uh, well, maybe not the entire size of the uh, the flag's perimeter ring. But... 
Can can you? Why is it not showing the ring? I thought. Damn you! Show. There we go. Okay, you can kind of see the perimeter ring now. I don't know that we necessarily need to wall off that entire thing. But I'm also not opposed to the idea either. What I'd honestly like to do is just kind of like follow it down to the water's edge on both sides, maybe. And then go to like behind the buildings there and, and bring it around that way. If we do a perimeter wall. I don't know how badly we need a perimeter wall, but it would keep puppets from being able to wander in. Now, the flag keeps them from spawning in here, but you still have the trenches literally right back there in the woods. And uh, you guys know from the last video, there's a lot of puppets back there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think on a perimeter wall. Also, I didn't notice until uh, when I was coming back from the traders, but... We have, uh, well, actually, no, we came from the traders that way. I guess it was when I was coming back from um, trying to scavenge for scrap metal. But we have cornfields over there. So that's nice. we got corn and potatoes. That's good that we've already got a decent start on crop fields. Anywho, I, I do want a large foundation for this base so that we can make it as big as we want. We have reached the maximum number of blueprints. Aw, poo. Okay, so I gotta build more. Alrighty then. Well, poo. Do you need anything other than... No. Okay, so we just need logs for all of these. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of logs. Um, what does it take to do the... Well, I can't because I have too many blueprints. Crap. Okay. Well, I guess I need to go find all of our logs. And I forgot to put down the... Um, the, the fire that you guys told me about putting down as a marker. So that was stupid of me. I just thought, eh, surely I'll be able to find them. Eh, maybe. Hopefully. I love the weather system in this game. I do. The clouds look so beautiful. They remind me of um, the weather system in Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, I, I love that game, too. Just I, I love open-world games. Any kind of open-world game that has any kind of survival aspects. You know, I know Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't a survival game, but it does have a lot of survival aspects. You know, you, you've got hunting. You can actually eat the stuff that you hunt. You know, you can make things out of the, the pelts that you get from hunting. You know, you can just ride up into the mountains on your horse and go camping and fishing and then all sorts of stuff. I, I just, I love stuff like that. Okay, now that we have that taken care of, what does it take to do an improvised wheelbarrow? Where even is the improvised wheelbarrow? There you are. What do you require? Yeah, the wheel, bolts... Oh, you actually don't take much. What does the wheel take? Because that's going to be the kicker. You're not even in here. You're over here. Wheel there. What do you take? Ugh, scrap. Otherwise good, but scrap. Mm. Oh, you need a freaking workbench. Well... Guess we're not doing that this time. Hey, it got dark. Speaking of it getting dark, uh, did any of you guys catch the eclipse? 
where we are, we weren't quite in the path of totality, so it didn't get dark, dark here. But it got dark enough that it was pretty cool. I mean, I think we were like 90% totality. But it was nice. It, it was weird, the... The lighting just got... <laughs> it, it's hard to explain, but it was sunny, but not sunny. You know, you still had the sunlight casting shadows on everything, but it was different sunlight. You know, everything just had a different kind of glow to it. It was really cool. Now, when we had the Eclipse a few years ago, uh, we actually were directly in the path of totality. And that one was cool. It got dark, dark. But anyway, sorry, I'm just rambling because I know this is not very exciting, so... I'm just talking through this. I hope that's okay with you guys. If not, I guess I'd feel free to either skip the video or mute me or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, it was really cool. And the temperature dropped like 20 degrees. That was nice because it was hot here. Okay, logs. Where, where more logs? Here, more logs. More logs. But yeah, it was like it was close to eighty here when it when the eclipse started, and it dropped into the like lower sixties. Yeah, I know, you're getting tired, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Just get over here, and then you can take a rest. Okay, there we go. Here, you can even properly lay down. There you go, take a rest. Oh, good, you almost hit your head on that rock. Okay, there you go. You've had enough rest. Now, I need to get back over to the other house and pull whatever food is still edible out of the fridge over there. Also, are these the edible mushrooms? Uh, it does not look like it. That, that looks like could be uh, bad times. Yeah, poison. Hmm. Well, I, I think we're, we're probably not going to eat that then. That's unfortunate. I know there's one of the mushrooms that's supposed to help with vitamin D. Which is good, because our vitamin D is not doing the best. I mean, we're not deficient yet. But it's it's bugging me. I don't know if it's if the game itself is bugged or what. But, like, the vitamin supplement... Actually, anything with vitamin D. It, it stops giving vitamin D after, like, five seconds. So... Vitamin D is not going back up very quickly, even though it'll say that you still have stuff undigested in your stomach. Which means it shouldn't even be getting absorbed yet, and so it should start giving more vitamin D as soon as it starts getting absorbed. So it should be, you know, your vitamin D should continuously go up as that gets absorbed through your intestines. But it's not. It just sits there. And, and does nothing. Also, these are all back to zero. That's wonderful. Like I said, I don't know how vital all of that stuff is. It doesn't seem to be having any kind of negative effects yet. 
But we'll see. Actually, I guess. Is it having any kind of negative effects? Affected by nothing currently. Uh, not that I can see. And it doesn't say that we have any kind of deficiencies or anything, so okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if those are actually vital or not. <sighs> now, I also don't remember. I know that somewhere in that town there was a garage that had a workbench. Which would be handy. Now, we could also just use the truck. But... One, I don't want to keep using up the fuel and running the battery down on the truck. Okay, is that all the logs from that one? Okay, we cut down four trees, right? Pretty sure we cut down four. Here we go. But, I mean, it, it would certainly be faster to use the truck. I would have to unload a lot of the chests out of the truck, but that's fine. Maybe we do that after we get this foundation, the twig foundation, finished here. Because we've only got... Oh, well, I guess I need to do this one as well. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, we have more to finish out here than I thought. That's fine. This one. Hmm. Triangle foundation. Hmm. Well, I guess that's for if you want to kind of round things out. Huh? You can do just like a half one so that you have Everything's not squared off. I like squared off, though. Me, personally. So, we're gonna just keep rocking with the squared foundations. No. No, that one. Thank you. Yes. And then over here. No. You're already there. Beautiful. Okay. And then we'll need one more there. Okay, fair enough. Now, we're probably also getting low on rope. I would guess, maybe not, but... Oh, you just need logs. Okay, you're one of the old ones. Gotcha. Are there no more sticks over here? Really, there's no more sticks. Well, that's a shame. Um, I mean, we may be building off this direction some. I'm just glad that for this, anyway, it doesn't matter if it's long sticks or short sticks. Small, small, small. Okay. Did you put a small stick in... Why would you do such a thing? Why? That, that seems unnecessary. Okay, that's enough for these, right? Should be. Small stick. Small stick. Maybe. Yeah, that's enough. 
Oh, I already filled you in with small sticks. Well, fine then. Be that way. Okay. I want to drop these out here. For now. Now, you... I can't tell because this stupid widget... I, I know you guys can't see it, but right here. From here to here, and from about here down to here, there's a, a recording widget here that blocks out the entirety of my um, number one holster. And I, I can't get rid of it. It also blocks out... Like the, I can hover over these, I can see the big numbers. I can see that this is 84, 97, but when I hold my cursor over them, I can't see what any of the detailed aspects of them are. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. And I can't move the widget or anything like that. I've tried, and so that, that kind of bugs me. But, oh well, whatever. Um... Okay, no, we do not have a stick in inventory slot number one. Beautiful. Alrighty, so we need logs. More logs. Can you... Hmm, maybe I need to check that. Can you do like a log sled or something? Because the wheelbarrow itself doesn't require a workbench. It's just the stupid wheel for it that requires a workbench. Shed, why couldn't you have come with a wheelbarrow? That would have been really nice. I, I would I would very much like a wheelbarrow. You you don't have one, do you? You didn't before, but No. Drat. But see, like, for a perimeter wall, we don't really need to go all the way back up into there. You know, it would pretty much be, you know, like, back to about here, probably, just to enclose the buildings in. Because I do want these buildings. I don't really know why, but I just, I like them. I, I still wish that you could build inside of these you can't even build onto these little cabins. <sighs> I do like the little cabins, though. If I'm just playing, like, just for myself, not really wanting to do base building, if I'm just playing just essentially to kill time or just to, to have fun, just kind of enjoying the basic aspects of the game... Then I, I, you know, hole up in a place like that. Or like the, uh, the house up in wherever the hell it is. This button. No. This button. The house up here by this lake. I would still like to do a base up there at some point in the future, but that's going to be a future season. Um... Because something I would I would like to mess around with maybe is more of the boat travel, and that place has you know you could you could use a, a little shot of water. Yeah, and we're about out of rope. Okay, so we're gonna have to make some more. But that place, the lake for that one connects to the river system. And so I would really like to have a boat up there that we could then use to get around as opposed to always taking a road vehicle. Now, the boats are quite a bit slower than the road vehicles, and you're much more limited on where you can go with them, but I still think it would be fun. And so maybe for 
one season or part of one season, maybe just a couple episodes or something, we could become a river pirate. I don't know. If that's something you guys would be interested in seeing, let me know. If not, I, I won't dedicate too much time to it. I will still probably do at least one episode on it just because I want to. But I would like to vary these seasons up. You know, I, I intend to do several seasons of Scum. So long as you guys want to watch it, I intend to do several seasons where we try different stuff in each season. This season is focused primarily on the base building aspects. You know, the other place that we started the base, I didn't really know how the, the base building worked. I still thought that you could build inside of buildings. Which is why I chose that place, because it had a lot of buildings with a lot of potential. But since you can't, eh, that, that, that limits that place's potential for a single player base, anyway. It's not, it's not bad, it still has a lot going for it. But, I, I, just, I don't like the lack of water. And the fact that the well that we built is not working properly. It, it, it kind of bugs me. But the well not working properly, the refrigerator not working properly, so all of our meat spoiled. Where were the logs? There were, there were two more logs. Ooh, hang on, I saw a white mushroom. What are you? What is this one? Is this one edible? No. Why are all of these poisonous now? One of the most poisonous mushrooms. <sighs> Damn it. There were two more logs back here. Where did they go? I don't know, but there's a bunch more up there. Weren't there two more? Anyway, no, maybe I picked those up just now. I'm, I'm a stupid... Okay, here we go. We got these, though. But, yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see for future seasons. Because Scum has so much potential. And hopefully the developers will continue to add things to Scum rather than taking things out like they've been doing for a couple of updates now, which is frustrating, but, okay, are we complete here, or do we still have one more? No, we still have one more to put in right here. Okay. One more. Beautiful. Okay, we have enough rope for that. Okay, we've got enough rope for like two more, it looks like. I think that says five. Okay. Okay. But I would, if they add the better motorcycles back in, which they, they said they're going to. So if they add the better motorcycles back in, and especially if they add a way to um, have storage on the motorcycles, then I would really love to do a season where we basically, it's basically going to be like days gone, where we live off of the bike. You know, I think that would be really fun. That was actually one of the reasons why I got Scum, was because it had motorcycles. And then I find out that they took the motorcycles out in a previous update, so that sucked. Okay, this seems like a pretty decent starting foundation. I actually think we should build out another one over here. But... This is a good start. Yeah, I, I do want to build out another one over this way, though. Yeah, I think so. And then, of course, we need to upgrade all of these, so that's going to take a while. But let's go ahead and set... No... Oh, you had it. Why does it do that? It'll snap to it. And then it says, nah. 
It's like, hey, I know what you want me to do. I, I, I start doing what you want me to do. And then I just forget how to do it. Oh, come on, you were right there. You know what, there, that one. Beautiful. Why up there? That's... No, no, yes. Thank you, now you're working properly. And I will go back into the comments from previous videos and, and look at what the keybinds are for this, because you guys told me what the keybind was, and I don't remember it. Okay, yeah, so we need more rope. Axe, poo. No, I don't want to do long wooden stick. No, make long wooden stick into small wooden stick. Then we have lots. Thank you. Small wooden stick. There, much more potential now. Oh, we got those completed sticks. No, we didn't. Well, where are the sticks then? Give me the sticks. Stick, 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 stick. We don't have enough sticks. Correct, we're short one stick. Bush, give me stick. Oh, well, that's not what I was hoping for, but okay. You don't have any vitamin D, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and just eat these. I know they don't give you much, but they give you something. Are you also rose hip? Yes. <sighs> Sorry, I just heard the water sounds. See, like this rock here just looks like a, a nice little fishing pier. You know, it, it gets you out above the water a little bit. I, I really want to try the fishing, because if we can make the fishing be successful, then we have a virtually unlimited source of meat. Which fish meat also has a lot of vitamin D, which is something I'm deficient-ish in right now. How's that doing, anyway? Yeah, see, we're not deficient yet, but we do need to get some soon. I should have got some milk from the trader or something. Actually, what did I get from the trader? I got some stuff from the trader. I remember getting food from the trader. And, and, actually, hang about here. Uh, not car parts. I don't think, I don't think we put anything in car parts. No, what is, what is this one? No. Okay, so we still have the scar and the AK as well. We, we have a lot of guns to play with right now. Um, speaking of guns, just to break up the monotony a little bit, um, I just want to show you guys what all we kind of got here. Okay, uh, you can't really see it there, but we have a suppressor for this for the car, and we have a bayonet for the car, as well as some ammunition for it. We have a bayonet and suppressor for the M16, as well as an ACOG. Yeah, we've got the bayonet on it right now. And we have a suppressor on the Mark 18. So, we have a lot to play with. And so we will be playing with stuff quite a bit in future episodes. Now, where the hell did I put the stuff that I got from the airdrop? Because I got food. I got a bunch of MREs. Where did it go? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, we also got another peacekeeper. Is it this? I don't know. I think it says, we got, yeah, we got a Peacekeeper, and we got a box of 38, a box of Armor Piercing 38, and a box of Tracer 38. I've never seen it do that before, where it gives you 
multiple, you know, it gives you different varieties of ammunition in the airdrops. But, whatever, I'm not going to complain. It works, is it? You? No, you're cooler stuff. Drat. But so we have multiple revolvers on us now, so I'm probably going to go back to using the revolvers for a lot of stuff. Just because I like the revolvers. I really do. I don't know why. There's just something about them. Where the hell did I put this stupid food? Oh, I know where I put the food. It's in the food bag. I forgot I made the green bag into the food bag. But yeah, so we got some chocolate candy. We got some sodas, etc. And some MREs. So, that's all wonderful and splendid. And we still have the Pop-Tarts. Also, uh, we have this thing. I I guess I should have taken that to the traders. But, whatever. Okay, what do we got for food in here? Okay, cheeseburger gives you a crap ton of calories. Tuna salad actually gives you a crap ton of calories. Beef stew, not so much. Do any of them have vitamin D? No. Why does no food have vitamin D? Cheeseburger should because it has cheese. You know, do you have vitamin D? You don't have hardly anything. You useless pile of garbage. Now, one thing that I wish, and I don't remember if it used to be in the game or not, but... I wish that just being out here in the sun, so long as you're wearing clothing like this that, you know, exposes your skin to sunlight, that you would just get passive vitamin D. Because that's a thing. That's how vitamin D works in reality. You get vitamin D from exposure to sunlight. And so I wish that th they would implement that into the game. I thought at one point they did, maybe, but I don't know for sure. I also wish that they would go back to the old system of... Um, what do we need for you? Rope? Of the, um, the hair. Because it used to be that your hair would just grow and you could cut it can I there we go it doesn't do that anymore now if you want to change your hair at all you have to go pay the barber and that that kind of sucks I, I don't like that So I, I really wish that they would go back to the way that it was before. I get that it gives you more customization options. But at the same time, I honestly preferred it the other way. Now, I never got to play with it the other way, unfortunately. But, okay, we got lots for rope here. But I, I miss that, just because it was more realistic. You know, I one thing that I love about Scum is all of the realism aspects. Okay, do any of these still need sticks? No. Okay. So, we need rope. I think it's five for rope. I'm trying to get into being able to do crafting without having to go into the crafting menu. E. But no, you still need. Okay. Nope, everything else is good. All righty. Okay, uh, then drop the sticks. 
because we don't need them right now. There we go. Hmm. See, just doing stuff like this is very relaxing, though. I, this is kind of why I wanted to do a season on base building. Not, not just because it's relaxing. I used up the last of the logs from that pile, didn't I? Yeah. Because it was here. Because here's the bundle of sticks. Or the tree branch, whatever. You know, go ahead and put the put the tree branch in there. I think no, not in your hand, stupid. In your backpack. <sighs> just, eh. just backpack. Thank you. Ooh, I think the log can still fit in there. We'll see. Anyway, there we got some trees to cut down here. Actually, are we getting further away from the thing, or no? I think we're fine. Okay, we've got a cluster of trees right here. Let's go ahead and do this. And let us put down... This thing, before I forget. Place that right there. There we go. All right, see if you can wear yourself out pulling the chainsaw again. There we go. Can I cut this up? No. Yeah, that's probably... Not very good for lumber anyway. Ooh, there's another one right there close by, too. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're pretty well good. Well, I know we're good for just doing the basic foundations here. But, yay, I can carry it. Huzzah! That will help, having that there. Thank you for letting me know about doing that. That That is very helpful. And thank you guys, thank you everybody that's been giving me tips on, on this game. Because I would really like to get to where I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I mean, you guys, there, there's a lot of you guys that have either been playing the game for a long time or have been watching people play the game for a long time. Uh, I've, I've watched, like, Fooster and Fisk and uh, Mr. Feudal play. And then a couple of you guys that have subscribed to the channel, you guys play, and I've watched some of your videos. So, but but that's about my extent of watching this. And then this is my first... Um, foray, or whatever, I don't even know if that's the correct application for that word, but into PC gaming. You know, before this... Oh, you're already tired. Alright, well, get get back to the thing so we can put the logs in and then you can take a rest. Um, are we gonna make it? But the point is, I don't know much about... Oh, we're, we're not gonna make it. Okay. Sleepy time. Oh, uh, there you go. Much better. Now, we are going to need to make a bed here at some point. Ah, 
man, I wish that it was that easy to recover from being completely exhausted. Hmm. It's getting there. It actually looks like a reasonably sized structure now. So that's good. That's very good. Where's the thing? There you are. Man, that is so helpful. That really is. The other one that we cut down, was it? Over here, or was it just this one? Maybe it was just this one. No, because we had three here. We have like two there and there. And then this one. But didn't we have... Yeah, okay, we did have another one up here. That's what I thought. And don't worry, we are going to be ending the video soon. I just I wanted to get this foundation done here just to kind of give us a good starting point for doing things in the future. But we've been going for over an hour now. Um, you guys seem to like this length of video. Is this, you know, is the hour, slightly hour plus long videos okay for you guys? Or do you want me to do shorter videos? Because I can do shorter videos, I'm just going to have to do a lot more, you know, editing and whatnot of them. Which is fine. It's just, for me, getting into a game like this, it's hard to record a decent amount of footage in less than an hour. You know? But, uh... I guess part of that is because my videos are a little bit less focused. I'm just kind of... I'm recording the videos the way that I would normally play the game. You know, so I'm, I'm just doing stuff and things and... You know, I, I, I know that this is not the most exciting channel for scum. And you're already tired. Fine, put the thing down. Lay down for a second. But, I mean, this this is not ever going to be a super exciting channel, you know. Well, I say that. I mean, maybe in future seasons, once I actually get better at things, we'll be able to do a little more exciting stuff. And if we can ever get the multiplayer thing going, um, then that could be a lot of excitement there. But also, depending on what they add into the game, like I said, they were talking about adding NPCs to the game, and quests and stuff, that could certainly make this more interesting. But, you know, for the time being, I'm just kind of playing the game in the casual manner that I normally play. And... So that means that a lot of times it just takes a while to get any kind of progress made. Now, I guess, like, for the last video, I could have split that video up into two parts and done just the trenches and then done a separate video on going to scavenge the town for scrap. And this one, obviously, I could cut out a lot. So... If you guys would like me to start doing it that way, I can. Oh, why do... No, you get out of here. But... Several of you have said that you like the longer videos. And... I, I like recording the longer videos. It's One, it's easier to record longer videos for me. And two, it's just... It, it works out better for the way that... I play. Yeah, I know. You're fine. You're not going to have a heart attack. Maybe. God, I hope that's not a thing. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, there you go. You can take a rest now.
I guess realistically I could take off some of this gear while we're just carrying stuff. I don't know if that would help with fatigue or not, but anyways, I think because we have this foundation here in place now, that's a pretty good size foundation. I like that a lot better than what we had before where we had to be like too wide and it only went to like here or so. That was a tiny base at the other place. And yeah, we could build more around it, but this place is just kind of an open floor plan. We can build whatever the hell we want. Oh, that's a nice view there too, the mountain. You got the mountain that way, you got a lake this way, you got nice secluded forest this way. Ah. I like this place. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you to anybody that actually watched all the way to the end. I know this was not a very exciting video. And let me know if you guys do enjoy watching the base building. If not, I can do more of it off camera. Um, if you guys do just enjoy watching the base building, great. I'll keep doing videos showcasing the actual base building process. If you don't want to see that, I'll just do it off camera and then show you guys the result. Uh, but let me know what you guys want to see there. And again, let me know what you guys think on a perimeter wall. If you think we need one, if you think... It would just be a good idea to have one. Because I like the idea of having a perimeter wall. I really don't know that we need a perimeter wall. This being a single player server. You know, we're, we're not worried about getting raided or anything like that. But it would help keep puppets from being able to wander in. Now, that doesn't seem to be an issue today. Which is nice. But... In a real situation like this, you would probably put up a perimeter wall, especially having uh, the trenches right over there, military camp over there, you know, it would be very likely that you would have a lot of puppets wandering in. So, I, I really like the idea of a perimeter wall that's going to take a lot of logs to do that, but I'm fine with that. But, uh... Yeah, let me know what you guys think on the perimeter wall. And also, again, if you guys have any suggestions for future seasons, let me know. I'm open to trying anything with Scum, just because there is so much that we can do here. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to what we can do. And you guys are a big part of this channel, so I want your input. You know, I want to know what you guys would like to see, because this is not just my channel. This is our channel. You know, the channel wouldn't be anything without you guys. You know, it would just be me sitting here playing a game. But the fact that you guys are here and participating in the channel is really nice, you know. And so I want your guys' opinions on stuff. And so... Let me know what you guys would like to see for future seasons. I still really love the idea of the, uh, like, living off of the bike, if we can make that work. With the current dirt bikes, I don't know how practical that really is. But if they can add in the better bikes, I would really like to try that, at least for part of a season, if not a full season. Um... But yeah, so just let me know what you guys would like to see. Uh, and if you have any suggestions on what we can do with the base here. Because like I said, I've built a good foundation here. I would like to have interior rooms in here, perhaps. Maybe. We'll see on that. I mean, just a big open floor plan with, you know, just stuff, you know, spread out would also be good. But we can potentially do interior walls, I think. And potentially a second floor if we need to. But I think this is a pretty good footprint for the building for now. And then, again, I do want to do a porch all the way around it. Which, as is, we could technically do it to where we already have a porch all the way around. But, we'll see. 
Um, but so yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see for this base. If you've got any suggestions on how I could make it into a really nice base, let me know. Because I'm, I'm still a beginner at this, but I'm, I'm getting more into it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I want to focus a lot on base building and the other places didn't have the potential for base building that this one does, in my opinion anyway. But anyway, I will stop rambling. Uh, but just let me know what you guys would like to see in all aspects of the future of this series. Because so long as you guys keep wanting to watch it, I will keep doing it. Because it's a lot of fun. And um, the current plan for the next live stream is for it to be tomorrow evening. Or Saturday evening. Um, around the usual time, in theory... Now, like I said before, we're getting into the busy season for our home business, so um, we'll we'll see how that goes. But look for a stream tomorrow evening. That's the plan, and that one is going to likely be a Project Zomboid stream, since we did Scum last time. And I would really like to try out Project Zomboid. Several of you have requested that, so we're going to give that a shot. So, anyway, um, look forward to that. In theory, tomorrow evening. So, uh, with that being said, I've rambled long enough. But uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching the videos. Thank you for all the support on the channel. Thank you for all the, the tips and the advice. And just thank you for being part of this channel. It would not be the same without you guys. So, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. So thank you to everybody for watching the videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.